Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today we're doing some mall modifications to my 2005 TW500. Well, I wish it was a 500, but it's a TW200. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up if you like my content. And if you're a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. So a couple videos ago, I did some upgrades to the bike. I put the rear rack on, a trickle charger and an air filter. But one of you guys out there mentioned the air filter needs to be oiled. So luckily I have some oil here. I'm gonna add some oil on there, never knew that. And then also suggested moving the trickle charge wire to under the frame um, in case the seat rubs on it and tears that. So I'm gonna do those and then we're going to be jumping into upgrading the headlight and putting some ditch lights on. So before we do that, just a friendly reminder that there's only a couple more days for the September giveaway. I'm giving away a $100 Amazon gift card to anyone that is subscribed to the channel and comments on my videos in September. The more you comment on all of my videos, the more chances you have to win. Let's jump into the project and see how it goes. So this is how I have read you oil your filter. I don't know if it's right or not, but that's what I'm gonna do. And then we're gonna flip it on over. What I've been told this is doing is massaging the oil into the filter. So before we put the air filter back in, I'm gonna relocate or rerun the trickle charge wire so we can jump onto the lights. That is done. Now let's put the filter back in. Now that that's done, let's lower the bike, see what lights we have to work with and figure out how to put them on. All right, this fairing looks straightforward. Looks like there's a Phillips screw here and just some pressure clips there. So let's get my screwdriver. Well, that was difficult. Looks like we have two 10 millimeter bolts on the side here to remove the light and then we can replace the headlight. That was simple. It looks like there was a little uh, rest down at the bottom for a little bracket to sit on. Now let's actually remove the light from the wiring which is simple, that is done. All right, let me get the products we're actually gonna be installing today, put it here and go over what the game plan is. As always, as always guys, there's a link down below for all the products I use in my videos. So if you like anything you see here, be sure to check those out. All right, before installing the headlight completely, I'm just gonna plug it in, turn the bike on and see if it works, because. You always want to check that. Simple plug and play. Light is on. Bright is on. Wonderful. It goes this way. And it looks perfect. Everything I got is specific for the TW. You can buy generic headlights and generic mounts. Uh, just a lot more finagling is needed. So here are the actual uh, ditch lights. The brackets are made to go right here. Uh, that looks pretty straightforward, and let's go and install these. All right, so the lights I got came with these brackets, or these mounts. Um, one thing to remember is, if you're OCD like me, uh, see which way the wire bends already. So this wire is already bending here, so we're going to use this for the left side. And then if you want the nuts on the inside, firstly make sure you input the, the mounting bolt. And then if you want the, the nut on this side, so it looks cleaner, make sure you put that on the opposite side. So, so I don't have to walk to my Sonic set here. Let's get this. I assume this is metric. It is from China. Who else hates it when the nut and the bolt are different sizes? That drives me insane. If you guys haven't seen my video about this OmniWall tool organization set, uh, be sure you check those out. I'll leave a link below. I love these things. I highly recommend them. I'm actually getting more to do inside my like utility room in the house. So check them out. 
All right, let's go over to the bike and see how these fit. All right, so as I mentioned, uh, since the wire, oh, look at that. All right, so we gotta make this hole a bit bigger here. That shouldn't be a problem. But as this wire is bending, you want it this way, just uh, so it doesn't look like a kink in the wire. And again, this one over here. So let's do that. All right, now that the holes are drilled, I'm gonna make sure they're big enough because you always wanna check that. And then I think I'm gonna put you guys on time-lapse because I gotta wire all of this and that's just a tedious process, but let's check if it fits. All right, cool, so they fit, so that's gonna work out great. So now I am going to figure out how to wire, put a switch in there, and then I'll get back to you. So enjoy the time lapse. done some people may like it some people will hate it I don't really care this is my bike but if you guys want to know how I did it here is a switch this switch is wired to a positive that I pulled off the headlight and then the two positives on the fog lights are on the other side of the switch sometimes there would be a fuse here I don't really care for a fuse then as far as the ground there are two grounds on the lights and there's an actual ground going to the headlight so I tapped into that and now I'm going to join them all and test it out. What I'm going to do, and I put the uh, pull connectors on there, I'm just going to put some dielectric grease on there uh, to prevent corrosion from getting into these connections. And then we'll push them together. And what this is, is electrical grease uh, just keeps the connection good and strong and stops water from getting in there. So I haven't tested this to see if it works. In theory it should, uh, we'll find out real quick if it does or not. All right, here's the headlight, and it's all wired to the key, the ignition. All righty, so ignition on, uh, headlights on, bright, bright still works. Uh, now where's my switch? Here, let's see if the fogs work. Cool, all the spots, all the ditch lights. All right, that works out perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is put the headlight in, uh, position everything. I'm not gonna mount the actual switch right now because I am going to be replacing the handlebars in another video. Uh, so there's no point in putting it on to take it off. But that's how you do it if you are interested. Uh, it looks good. I was thinking with my other switch, I would make a headlight and tail light and running light kill switch in case I wanted to go blackout. Um, but I don't know, maybe let me know in the comments below if you think that would be cool to see. So now let's put it all together. Oh wait, cool, you see, I can't leave the ditch lights on accidentally and run the battery out. So you can leave them on and turn the key off and then I'll turn on with the light. Ah, perfect, love it. a lot for tuning into this project as you can see it's all back together and looks nice i love the way these headlights look so until next time be sure to like subscribe let me know what other mods you're looking forward to because there's a bunch more on the table here or give me a guess of what you think i'm doing next but here we go for the final setup let me know what you think in the comments below and thanks a lot for tuning in as always and until next time i'll see you then Judgment.